Obi Toe and Black Zetsu. I can't believe I haven't drawn this yet. It's actually tricky enough to find a good image of this. There's not a lot of them like looking serious and cool. It's like his eyes closed or something. So I found this one though. It's pretty cool. It looks like a fan art or it looks like a, like a copy of the manga sort of image. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. We start with the Renegan eye on Black Zetsu over this side because it's easiest, I think, right? So we'll go curve line over like that, right? And then this comes down around. It's kind of like a lemon sort of shape, right? Up into the corner here. There isn't a lot of like texture lines or anything. Black Zetsu is just black. It's sort of like that. And then the Renegan pupil. Here in the middle. Then you gotta do concentric circles around. How much you do is up to you. But let's do what we can. Kind of like a bullseye, right? One. Now getting them perfectly circular is tricky. So, you know, if you want to use a compass or coins or anything work away and another one here These ones will kind of go around the outer edge. All right, sort of like that, and then purple on the inside. Right, so measure that eye. That'll go in between, right? The width of it, the whole width fits in between both eyes, right? So you want to start the next eye about there. So it might be even a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more across. So it's like the whole eye will fit there anyway. And you might go over a little bit more. So we just go up, across. Obito's eye is very slender. Right, and you could add like an extra sort of eye line here. And then we have a hook coming down here. And we'll just thicken up the top eye lid a little bit. Just make it a bit darker. Like so. And then the bottom eyelid line continues across here towards the tear duct. So then his Sharingan eye. So we've got this half circle coming down up to there. And then the pupil. like so and then we have his mangekyo inside right so it's this sort of spiked hook kind of thing so it comes down there and then hooks back up that way quite thin there here Like 
so and that's just black in there Okay, right, so then his eyebrow, so a big frowning eyebrow. And then we have an eyelid line underneath that. And then some more wrinkles for his nose. Like that, right? So, Black Zetsu is dividing this whole thing in half. So he's got this just coming down across the face. Right, and about where the mouth would be, we've got this sort of stuff like that, right? There's a gap here. So Obito's nose is just drawn in with a nostril and then his mouth is here right and you can have it open or closed it's open in the picture so I'll open it and let me add just the teeth across the top and then just inside the mouth is black So his, his chin pretty square, just here, like so. Right, in terms of proportions of things, eyes, say, eye to nostril is about the same as nostril to chin. So here to here is about the same as here to here, maybe to the top of their eyes, or Obito's pupil even. So that distance is about the same as this distance. And then nostril to bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin. So here to here, is about the same as here to here. And there is a line actually drawn in for his bottom lip there. Right, so his jaw. Oops, side of his face. Zetsu's kind of curves a bit more. Eventually his will go all the way up, so it's just all black here. And then Obito's to there right and then we can see face a trapezius muscle and then like a shoulder going that way and then a neck here a trapezius and a shoulder going that way neck muscle lines and another black line that way Obito's hair then, so we've got these sideburns, so like a V sort of line. And if you draw it manga style, he has these texture lines on his hair spike. So if it's in the anime, you just do the spike like this. All right, so manga, he adds texture to these. Anime, he doesn't. And then hair spikes going all this way as well. And you can add some textures to them if you want. And then his ear coming down there. Ear lines on the inside. And some hair spikes at the back. So I'm not sure why Black Setsu's shoulder is smaller, but it is. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. So, right, so then like his scars, right? So all these lines on his face. Curving around his cheek.
Mm, yeah, I think there's more like here, like down his mouth. Like so. It's like his collarbone is here. And then Black Sets who has like an open stitched kind of mouth here as well with all these holes in it, right? So right, so it's kind of like a creepy sort of ooze situation. Going up to this real long smile, right? Like so. Okay, and Obito has like loads of scratch marks all over his face. That he's been fighting. that is how to draw obito and black zetsu hope it's helpful thanks for watching see you in the next one bye